Hello. In this video we don't talk about temperature, but we talk about inductance. Inductance of this spiral stuff, it's a planar converter. It's a four-layer board. Uh, I found this in the Pulsonics example folder, but in effect it's a two layers. Uh, top layer the spiral and inner two or inner one the other one. What we have to do to simulate this in TRM is to create the Gerber files and the drill files. There is nothing more available, say a net list or so. All the accessories can be added in TRM. So first we create the Gerber files. Come plot. We, we have top to bottom and we have three drilled holes in Exelon format. Just running. We have to keep this information 3.5 for the drill files. And um, yeah, that's all. The, others, the other data are not, not useful. What we have to know is the size of the board and I checked this in a Gerber viewer and I will use that. Now I opened TRM and I'm creating a new project using this text information. Next step is to create the computational frame and what I checked out is we have a lower left corner at 15 millimeters and 30 millimeters and an upper right corner at 50 and 65 in the Gerber plotting plane. And we have a look at the spirals with a resolution of 50 microns. Next step is to create the layers. I said it's a four layer board. Not all the layers are filled with Gerber information, but that's not our problem. Now I have to fill the file names, the top Gerber file, the inner layer one file, the inner layer two file, and the bottom. The thickness is not known to us, so we are assuming 35 microns and just for fun 250 here, 250 there and maybe another 250. We have to translate the Gerber files into nodes. And this is what we translated. I will hide the preprex. So it's a we see it's a three layer situation. Pink is top, blue is inner one, and green is inner number two. Next step is to add the drill files. Drill files are in Exelon format. The file is dot trl top to inner two this is almost a through hole it's plated and we assume 25 microns of plating thickness and convert the help text told us it's five digits or five decimals after the decimal point as gives us three guys and this is the complete three-dimensional layout. Now we have to add some AMP sources to bring in current. And this we have to do manually by drawing something here and something there using the graphic loads menu. For example, as a background image, I am using inner two no, it should be inner one. And I draw just a circle here. Uh, 
and rectangle there. And those two are now carrier of or of information. Circle maybe plus one watt plus one amp as a test current. The amp value does not matter because the inductance is or the inductivity is independent of the current itself. And we have to assign or invent a net, otherwise it will not recognize what to do. So I call the net $1 and this piece in or out. And this net I also call $1 and the component is in or plus or minus does not matter. What matters is the vertical position. In a default situation it's an SMD top component. It's so high because the default height of two millimeters is um, tall compared to the to the thickness of the board. We have to move it into this inner layer one which is number three in the list of levels and this is easily done by checking by selecting this value and now we have a current from here up to here up to there down to there and here this is the complete setup next step is to start the calculation this is calculate we don't want to see the temperature. We are calculating internally the magnetic field to extract the inductance or inductivity of this situation. And just press start calculation. The solution is iterative and it comes to an end in a few seconds. We have a joule heating power of 0.3 watts and when the plots are done it will start to calculate the inductance. We have only one net so that the inductance matrix has a size of 1. And um, it's using some sort of Monte Carlo method, but we see that, re that the result will be one micro Henry. The result is one micro Henry plus a little bit of decimals. We don't care. Let's have a look at the results. The most interesting results are the interactive ones in a 3D dis display. We can see the voltage drop or the voltage in layer 1, 2 and 3. White is low voltage and red is high voltage. This was the one amp source and this is the minus one amp sink. We can also see the current density for example. And so on. The report file tells us now details. For example, the voltage drop. The voltage drop is 3.34 volt. And the heating is has a distribution of 1.5 watts in the top layer and 1.65 in the in layer 3 and a little bit in the layer 
2. The situation can be made a little bit more complex if we split this into two nets. Net number one is the lower spiral and net number two is the upper spiral. And for this we have to disconnect them and to create individual sinks and or sources in those spirals. This is very easy. We go back to the loads table. Well, first of all, delete the drills. We delete the central one, which has PTH4. And let's delete this one. And now we go to the loads table and add new items. For example, a circle here. In fact, two circles in different levels. If we connect this one, this is um, net one in. Just give it another color, say yellow. And this should correspond with this one, which is circle two. And that should also have the color yellow. And it's part of the net dollar one out. And the component name is out. This, of course, is net 2 and give it the color orange. And we need to have another circle here. We can take this one and copy. Uh, this will now be dollar 2 tilde in. And it's in the orange color. And let's have a look where the pos vertical position should be. Which means the yellow one the yellow one should should be here in um, position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And should have one ump. And the other one corresponds to this one. This is placed correctly on top layer. And we say loads is 1. And the value is minus 1. Now we try again the calculation. And we say two nets in the log node and start. There are control plots whether the correct traces are linked to the to the nets. Here on the result, so here we see net color, we see the orange net and the yellow net. Dollar one, dollar two. That sounds reasonable. What about the inductance? The matrix now is 2 by 2. The self-inductance of the pink one, the self-inductance of the green, and the mutual inductance. Matrix is symmetric, has to be calculated only once. I'm just pausing a little bit. Calculations are done. And let's have a look at the result report. At the end, we see the inductance matrix, which is this and if we sum up all these piece, bits and pieces, we have 300 plus 220 plus 220 plus 300, which is almost 1000, etc. Nano Henry, it's one micro Henry what we had in the previous run taken into account one net. Thank you for watching and try it yourself.